How's it going YouTube? It's Apoc and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. We are, today we are doing a face distortion. So to get started, there is a distortion template for the face. I'm not going to be using that. You can feel free to check that out on your own. I've never used it so I can't really give you a review or anything of it. I think it's pretty easy to do face distortions without a template so feel free to just follow along with me instead of using that. So we're going to click New Project, Start from Scratch. All right, so let's get into it. There is three ways, or two ways, technically three, to distort a face in Lens Studio. You could say there's more with other methods, but these are the three main ways that I'm going to be going over today, starting with the, the two like face-oriented ways. So we have our face stretch, our face liquify, and the regular with liquify. Let's start with the face stretch. And to add it, you just go up to your objects panel, click add new, and then face effects. You can also just scroll down in here, but click face effects, face stretch. When you get to your face stretch, it's adding this object here. And it adds in a grid over a face with some anchor points. You can drag these anchor points around with your mouse to cause the stretching effect. Feel free to play around with this, figure out cool things you can do with this. You can drag them over each other and mess up everything if you want. There's a symmetrical mode button and a reset points down here. Symmetrical mode is obviously the symmetrical mode, so if we turn that off, we can move one without the other one moving. And I think what's really cool is, if, is that if you turn this back on, it's not going to snap the anchor points back together. It's just going to move them the same amount. I really like that feature, but I wish there was like another button, maybe like snap them to the one you click or something. Um, so reset just resets everything. All right, so over here in your component in your inspector, we have face index and features and the weight slider for the feature. Face indexes are used all across the different face effects that you'll find in Lens Studio. They are, they are based on zero, like an array in programming, if you know anything about that. So face index zero is the first face. Face index one is the second, two is the third. So to demonstrate that, we're going to do a little stretch effect. And it's on face index 0, so it's affecting the first face it sees. Let's go to two people. So she's the first one who's detected. It's affecting her. That guy's face is distorted because this adds like a distortion right over the camera. It doesn't restrict it to the face. We set it to 1, it's going to go to the second person. We set it to 2, it goes to the third. There is no third, so it just disappears. Go back to 1. Go back to one person. Below that is the weight slider for the feature. You turn that up, it increases the intensity of the feature. You turn it down. Below one, it's going to decrease the intensity. Zero is obviously just back to normal. And below zero is inverted, essentially. It only goes to negative 0 0.1 below zero, though. You can also stack features here. So you can add another feature like this one and change the weight of that around. You can enable, disable with the checkboxes as you can with things across the app with the checkboxes. And you can delete with the trash can. So that's all there is for the face stretch. Very simple, as you can see. Feel free to play around with it yourself, obviously. Um, so we're just going to remove it now so it doesn't interfere with any of the other testing. So you can clearly see what the liquify is doing. Next one we're adding is the face liquify. It's added the same way as face stretch, objects, add new, Face, liquify, face effects, face liquify. When you add the face liquify, it adds two points connected together. Symmetrical mode doesn't turn this off. No matter what you do, these points are connected. You can drag the outside ring in and out to make it to increase the radius. Grab the middle point to move them around. Click on one of them to access them directly. Again, they're all linked up, so the radiuses link up, the intensity links up, all of it links up. Go below one on your intensity and inverts it. Your radius doesn't really invert all that much. Or at all, really. Because it only goes to 0 0.5. Okay, and above that we have your face index and you also have attachment points. Attach these to your left eye, forehead, so it's really just where it's attached. By default, they're both attached to left eye, right eye. The, the right eye one says custom point for some reason. I don't know why. But it does, but it's actually just the right eye. So you're probably like, how do I get these to not be symmetrical? 
really the only way to do that is just to, to remove one of them. Once you remove one, you can have just this one here. And then the, you can move that by itself. And if you want to, you can right click and create a point. I thought for a long time, but you can't actually do that for some reason. One thing I usually do, honestly, is just duplicate. And then I move this one around. Um, and you can turn on symmetrical mode if you want to. It still doesn't do anything. Creating symmetric points doesn't do anything either. I don't, I don't know if it's a bug or something, but they, it used to work. There's also a button that shows up down here when you click on face lookify up here. And you can add a new point that way. And if you have symmetrical mode on, it does turn on that. It, this is the only part of the symmetrical mode effects. So it's a bit buggy. But when you're clicked up here, you can click to add new points. You can click this button to do it um, and move those around. So I don't know. It's a bit strange, to be honest, how that works. But hopefully you got a good understanding. So let's just go back over that because it was a bit confusing. And I don't want you to be confused. So face lookify. OK, it starts with two that are connected. This one's on the right eye. Even though it says custom point, it's on the right eye. This one's on the left. You have your radius, intensity, all that. You want these to be separate. You remove one of them. You click up here. And then you can click on the face, or you can click this button here. Click symmetrical mode, and then click on the face. And it'll add two that are attached to each other, like the original two. This button here just adds a grid to the face. It doesn't really do anything more than that. You drag the outside rings to increase the radius or decrease the radius. The middle one moves its position. So that's the face liquify. Sorry, that was a bit confusing originally. Now moving on to the third and last way is just the regular liquify, which affects everything in the camera and it's not attached to your face. So this one is also doesn't have like a, a little grid you can move it on on a face. You have to move it inside the 3D scene. So that's that. And actually the face, you can see the liquify component here. The face liquify is just exactly that with a head binding. Let me show you. Head binding, liquify. So they just combine two things really into a thing for the face. So that's all there is. Liquify works the same way as the face liquify with the radius intensity and everything. The size and stuff has to be controlled using your three tools up here though. So I should give you a quick example of that. So if you want it to make it bigger, you'd use the scale tool, scale it up. You want to move it, you use your move tool, move it around, rotate, rotate tool. However, it's like a 2D, so it's not really going to rotate much. Um, yeah, that's really the only three ways that you'll probably ever use. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or any feedback, any constructive criticism or any criticism at all, really, drop it in the comments below. I'm looking forward to creating more Lens Studio content in the future. So let me know what you want to see. If you want me to just talk about my experience as an official creator or something, anything like that, let me know. Just let me know what you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the next tutorials or anything I post to my channel. And, you know, hit hit the bell if you want to. Um, I'm, I'm more here to be educational. Probably won't post that much. But thank you guys for watching. Peace.